Right, welcome to a slightly different video here. We are doing a tutorial because like me, you might be in this position where you have a lot of lag when you're loading your new Kerbal Space Program to save. And this is the reason that I found out why. Now, if you look at this, our standard save for my save file, so if we're going to update a local law, intercept games, Kerbal Space Program 2, and then go into saves, single player, and then the one that you're looking at fixing. Because I, I found if I'm trying to launch a rocket, it lags a lot, or sometimes it just crashes when you're trying to launch. So if you have a look at this one, this manual save here, this is only 3.96 megabytes. That is how big the file should be, right? But if we have a look at this auto save here, 1.9 gigabytes. Now that is wrong. That should not be like that. So first thing is first. We to fix this, it's easy. I've had to download an app called um, Sublime Text because if you try and open this in a notepad, it is in Notepad it is far too like large to open in Notepad. So what we have to do is first of all we're going to make a copy of it. So we're just going to copy that. I'll just paste it in Documents here, so we have that there just in case we need it. So if you open it up with Sublime Text, I will just make this a little bit bigger for your viewing pleasure. So if we open this up, it takes a while to load because obviously it's loading 1.9 gigabytes worth of text. And if we go all the way at the top, as you can see, here's what looks like a normal save file. But if you look down the right here, you keep going down. This is all just part of our crafts and everything. But then the further down you go, if you just come down this list, look how this is all the same. Now, this is just event reports. That's all it is, event report, event report, event report, event report, event report. This is all the stuff we've done in this save file and it's saved every single log of it. Thousands and thousands of repeated lines, repeated lines, and it has nothing to do with the actual save. So what we need to do is just grab all of this up to Object events. Yeah, I don't think we need any of this. If we go all the way up to here and just press delete. That has not deleted everything. <laughs> right, if we go up, <coughs> if we put the marker there, Go all the way at the bottom, press shift, click, delete. Now this is going to take a long time to delete that many thousands of lines. But hopefully, there we go. Now if we scroll up. And it's not responding. <laughs> We've crashed the program. Okay, if we scroll up here, you can still see we've got quite a lot of text. But this is all our part data, I think. So what we want to do now, if we save this, right, it's going to take a while. It's going to freeze again to save. As you can see. But hopefully. Hopefully now if we close that down. We 
when it wants to, you know, respond again. There we go. Four point now that's four and a half megabytes, right? Now let's go to the game and see if this works. Right, so we're in the game, we've got single player, typical sim, auto save three. And we load that. See what happens here. See if everything is fine. We did make a backup just in case. But let's have a look and see how long. I'm going to leave the, the loading times in and just see if it's making much difference. Okay, so the game's already loaded here. Okay. Right, if we go back to the vehicles centre track station. We have got we've got our let's have a look. Yep, our space station is in orbit and it loaded quickly. If we go to Mun Our Moon Base. Moon Base is all here. Look at that. Our Moon Base is here. And if we now go back to the Kerbal Space Centre. Just keeping the loading times in. There we go. And VAB. And let's just see it. Let's just launch this. See how long this takes to launch. This is quite a few parts, I would say. Part 85. Okay. Let's see how long this takes. There we go. Look at that. That was real time. I didn't edit that out. So that's our save file actually fixed. That is so much. That is good news. Very good news. So there you go. If that's helped you out, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much.